My mom turned 74 today. I went to visit her, bought her a cake, a couple of presents, and she had no idea who I was. I'm sorry to hear that. My only consolation is that maybe someday she'll forget what a son of a bitch my old man was. Burn it up! You yeah. trash fire? Hey, you guys! Go, 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 go. Hey! Stop! Police! Hey! 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 Stop! Jesus Christ! 6 0 Battery Park Portable is Central K. Send a supervisor and an ambulance. We have a man on fire. Next case. Let's go. Docket ending number 733, the people versus Bartholomew Burke on an article 245 and 245.1, exposure of a person in public lewdness on the complaint of Officer Alessandro. Counsel, state your name. Fatima Kelly, legal aid, Your Honor. Jeremiah Jelinek for the people, Your Honor. Mr. Burke, you were arrested in Central Park. Unclothed, Your Honor. Please don't interrupt me, Mr. Jelinek. I have the charges right here in front of me. My apologies, Your Honor. Mr. Burke, you were arrested with a woman? My girlfriend. I can't hear you, Mr. Burke. You'll have to speak up. She's my girlfriend? Uh, Your Honor, if I may. Please. My client and his girlfriend were on a date, Your Honor, and they simply got carried away. How old are you, Mr. Burke? 17. While exposing oneself is clearly prohibited by Section 245, I believe, Your they Honor... They were both that... naked, Your Honor. The park is frequented by young... I believe that for a victimless crime such as this, that the court might have some leniency. Uh, they were not in the middle of the Great Lawn. They were in a secluded section off the West Side Park entrance. Not secluded enough. You know what a date is, Mr. Burke? This is a date. You bring your girlfriend to dinner in a movie, you sit down in the last row. You hold hands, you talk. Maybe you take a walk through Central Park. At the end of the night, if you're lucky, she asks you up to her place. If not, maybe you get a good night kiss. But finding yourself under arrest with your pants down in the middle of Central Park, that's a real romance killer. Am I right, Mr. Burke? Yes, Your Honor. Next time you're in the park, try taking your girlfriend out on a rowboat and save the theatrics for indoors. How does the defendant plead? Guilty, Your Honor. People? People request $2,000 or 20 days, Your Honor. Well, that's pretty stiff for exhibiting bad judgment. Exposure's a violation, Your Honor. Defendant is old enough to know better. And I'm young enough to remember when I was old enough to know better. Next time you're on a date, Mr. Berg, try renting a Tracy Hepburn movie and get yourself a bag of popcorn. You'll both be the better for it. The defendant will be released with time served and will be on a month's probation. So, no flagrante delicto al fresco. In other words, keep your pants on in public. Am I right, Mr. Berg? Yes, Your Honor. Good boy. Next case. Yeah. The car's running a little late. About 10 minutes or so. There's a water main break up town. How long have you been married? Me? Yeah. 26 years. Sarah and I are married almost 37 years. My parents, when they were dating, my father would pick up my mother on his bicycle and she'd sit on the handlebars. And they would go to the RKO or the Jans for a banana split. Well, one night after dark, they were stopped by a policeman who gives my father a summons for not having a light on his bicycle. He kept it, and I have it home framed. So after he gave my father the summons, the policeman took his address, and he goes to his house. And my grandmother was mortified. She felt her son had disgraced the whole family. Not only did he get a summons, but he had a woman riding on the handlebars of his bicycle. What an embarrassment. And my mother claims that my grandmother always held it against her. Times change, huh? 17-year-old who was having sex under the maple tree in Central Park. Frankly, I think the patrolman should have handled it with a warning. You know, etiquette used to be an elective in high school. Not in my high school. There are only two electives. Mechanics for the boys and typing for the girls. Typing, that's right. Carpet, Charlie. Thank God for computers. The car's here. Thanks, Charlie. Good night, Judge. Good night. You don't like to lose, do you? Depends on what the game is. $2,000 or 20 days for public lewdness? Look, I don't have a problem with wanting to have sex in the great outdoors, but in New York City, it's a violation. <laughs> How do you feel about it? About Rifkin's judgment? No, about sex outdoors. Well, it depends who's asking. What if I'm asking? Well, I'll take it under consideration, but only after extensive investigation. <laughs> oh, boy. You ever hear that unwritten rule? A lawyer should never ask a question he doesn't already know the answer to. Uh-huh. I'm about to break it. What's the question? I was wondering if you wanted to have dinner with me. Like a date? Yeah. Yes. Date. Are you sure you want to break the 11th commandment? Thou shalt not date opposing counsel. 
I'm sure I can arrange dispensation for that. I see. Hmm. So, how do you rule? I rule in favor. Good. Excuse me. <clears throat> Tomorrow, after work. Mm. I think we might want to work on a continuance. <laughs> Sarah? Sarah? In the bedroom. I got a cross-eyed papa, but he looks great to me. That's why I'm happy. Who is that? Mae West? Sophie Tucker? I went to a book and tape sale in front of Fairway today. My mother used to listen to Sophie Tucker. I know. She used to listen mainly when she and my father were having a fight. What was it she used to say? Don't worry about the dishes on the shelf. Be a tasty dish yourself. Good advice. It is dearness only that gives everything its value. Sophie Tucker. Tom Payne. You know what that makes you? Priceless. You're feeling good, Rifkin. Huh? I'm feeling very good. Feeling yeah. risky. You got a deal. <laughs> you ever watched a Spencer Tracy Catherine Hepburn movie? No. Me either. They're supposed to be romantic. I don't think you need any help in that department. <laughs> You think there's a baby in here? <laughs> Ramon, we just saw it. I know, but remember how fast we conceived Pedro? Hmm. Faster than a speeding bullet. <laughs> Serena Ana Rodriguez. What do you think about that? <laughs> you already picking our names? I'm just saying. It's pretty, isn't it? It means calm and serene. We could all use more of that around here. I was thinking about Ramon if it's a boy. Nope. Why not? I want him to have his own identity. I hate it when, 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 when my mother compares Pedro to me. I don't want him to be like me. I want him to be better than me. Nothing would make me happier than if it was just like his father. Hello? Yeah? Where? Anybody hurt? I'll be right down. What's wrong? Ernie. Something happened to him? He's been arrested. What? Drunk driving. Ernie? Oh, my baby. Thank God you're okay. Hey, Charlie. Oh. Nick Spiros, the 2 1, the arresting officer. What are you blowing the breathalyzer? 0. 0.20. Twice the legal limit. There were four of them in the car. But my son was driving. I clocked them going 80 down the West Side Highway before they spun out of control. Your car? Pretty bad shape. Front end looks like an accordion. He didn't tell me you were on the job. JJ's got the case if you want to talk to him. It'll be called, uh, so around four. Until then, I don't want to put him in the cell. You can put him in a cell. I think the coffee room's free. A holding cell is fine. You're here early. Catching up. Tonight's load. Okay. Pay special attention to the top one. Is the homeless guy that got set on fire? The guy the kids that did it? You're representing one of the kids that did it. Allegedly. Allegedly. I have a feeling this one's going to catch some attention. There was a mention in the post today about it. The DA's office is probably going to go to trial with it. Mm. Good luck. Hey, Michelle, uh, you ever wonder what makes kids go bad? Cassandra pregnant yet? Not yet. And how's Pedro doing? He's doing just great. 
So what are you worried about? Hmm. Talk to the pound. The car's totaled. I know the car's going to put a hole in our savings. Fix it cost 6000 The car's barely worth 6000 Engine block's cracked. You better get in another car. That's something we can replace. Replacing the car means we can't get a new roof. I just thank God no one was hurt in the accident. That's just it, Joy. It wasn't an accident. Something didn't have to happen. He's only 17. Don't tell me you're going to defend him. I'm worried about him. I want him home. I don't like the idea of him cooped up with criminals. He broke the law. It's bad enough he's going to have a record. 80 miles an hour on the West Side Highway. He's only 17. Drunk. And he's our son. He could kill somebody. I want you to get him out of there. He could have killed himself. Talk to somebody. What are you asking me to do? You work there, Charles. You know the judges. You know the lawyers. Don't tell me there's nothing you can do to get him home today. Don't you tell me that. He's almost a grown man. You gotta stop treating him like he's a baby. It's my fault this happened. No. Of course not. So you'll do what you can to get him out of there. Judge, I'd like to talk to you about something. Come here, Charlie. I'm reading Common Sense by Tom Paine. Remember reading Paine in high school history? Remember that? Listen to this. The harder the conflict, the more glorious the triumph. What we obtain too cheap, we esteem too lightly. Tis dearness only that gives everything its value. Good stuff, huh? It's great stuff in here. Wonderful writer. Wonderful philosopher. Anyway, sorry. You wanted to talk to me, and I'm sure it wasn't about Tom Paine. Come on, sit down. You're covering part A tonight. That's right. Uh, I don't really know how to put this. Whatever it is, just say it. One of the defendants scheduled to appear before you tonight is my son, Ernie. What's the charge? Got arrested for drunk driving. Anybody hurt? No. Is this the first offense? Never been in trouble before. Is he in school? LaGuardia. I didn't know you had a kid in high school. He's going to graduate on Friday. He wants to be an airline pilot when he grows up. Well, I'll let him off with six months probation. Oh, fine. No problem. No. That's not what I'm asking. What are you asking? I want you to throw the book at him. Hundred Center Street, brought to you in part by Chrysler. Inspiration, imagination, innovation. Now, Chrysler and Brookstone celebrate their long-standing commitment to design. Look for this special supplement in the November issue of some of your favorite Hearst publications. from Chrysler. Exhilarating performance. Incredible engineering. And of course, eye-catching designs. Once again, Lowe's is improving home improvement. Now at Lowe's and only at Lowe's, you'll find new fast lock for mica flooring. Beautiful ceramic and stone laminate floors that go together in a snap. No muss, no fuss, no glue. Fast lock is the easy and affordable way to get